Before you left the GSA, had there been any question asked about the propriety of your dealings in that role? Oh, that is correct, yes. Uh, the new guy, Clarence Mamalu, that moves into the GSC, uh begins uh, what he calls a massive investigation as to what had occurred at the General Services Administration. Yes. And what was the outcome of that? Well, I really don't know the, the full outcome because up until the time I left Liberia, he was still investigating. Mm -hmm. uh, but what had arisen at the time, uh, he was concerned about uh, uh, funds that had been paid uh, eight months before his arrival at the GSA uh, for equipment for the government of Liberia that uh, had not arrived. Now help us, how many such allegations did, were made about you and your role as head of the GSA? Well, as far as I know, the allegations came from Clarence Mamalu. How many of them? I know mainly of one for the payment of $900,000 to uh, a firm in the United States. And put in simple terms, what was being suggested about you? Oh, he, he was trying to suggest that I had uh, personally embezzled money. How much? $900,000. Had you done that? No, I had not. When you left the Liberia, were those investigations still ongoing? They were still ongoing. Did that investigation have anything to do with your flight? No, not at all, not at all. Uh, the payment in question had been made eight months before I fled, no. Uh, it was very clear that had it not been for this military operation that Kurumpa failed on, and I'm using the word failed, I would have not uh, probably left Liberia at that time because quite frankly, I was sure that I would have been made Minister of Commerce and the investigation would have been carried out and they would have found out that uh, all of the proper procedures had been used and what do I mean by proper procedure? Orders were placed by the GSA, payments were made through the Central Bank of Liberia, the vendor had received the money eight months before this particular situation, so if there were any questions that would have been answered, it would have been by the vendor, who, who had not denied that he had received the money. So I had no problems with that. Well, help us with this then, uh, Mr. Taylor. If as you're telling these judges, you were not guilty of any wrongdoing, what do you say was the motivation behind those allegations? I, I know that Clarence Mamalu wanted to destroy me and some of the other guys wanted to, but they would not have succeeded. Uh, it was purely to destroy Charles Taylor. Uh, Why would they want to destroy Charles Taylor? Well, don't let's forget that we're talking still, we're in this mood of what? This Congo man that is doing very well who is so respected and loved by a lot of members of the council, we need to break Taylor. And that's what they wanted to do. And was this being done with or without Doe's approval? Quite frankly, I, 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 I cannot say with any degree of certainty that this was done uh, with uh, Doe's approval. Uh, to be very fair to this gentleman, look, I know Samuel Doe. These allegations, if Doe was behind the allegations, when they first came out, number one, he would have dismissed me from the GSA instantly. I believe that uh, there were other individuals moving in there because having been president myself, when the president is really behind something, really, really behind something, I mean, you, you, you would not, you would almost know
I mean, so I don't think Do 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 easily could have said, "Oh, there are allegations. You are dismissed, and you will remain out of office until you answer to these allegations." But he did not even comment on it. Uh, the executive mansion did not do any releases on it, and so uh, I would say that this was not of those are uh, doing. No.